bright and early one. Uh, I got a couple, like an hour or so, before I can do any work, work stuff, or have to go to work rather. But on the bench, I got two holly carbs. This is a 750. This one's got a couple issues, um, but the choke on this is good. This one has a mechanical choke, which I don't really want to run. I kind of like the electronic ones. For most applications, I know on the Falcon it doesn't really matter, but um, I know this choke link linkage, when I got this carb, it was gifted to me for free. He said it worked great, except for the choke issue, so he'd have to sit there revving the thing in the driveway, and he's got a bunch of really old neighbors that were getting not very happy with old hot rods starting revving up like crazy early in the morning. So he gave me the entire carb on the stipulation. He told me that the choke was messed up. So I'm going to swap out the mechanical choke for the electronic one and take you guys along for that then this will sit on the shelf until i can figure out what's going on with the falcon we finally got snow here so it's snowing now it's supposed to snow all day not sure what that's going to do for driving fun cars around not that i'm opposed but i parked all of them got to get the volvo running i got it back home last night battery shot so stop at the store buy a new battery or swap that one out luckily there's a three-year warranty so should be able to get a free one get the wagon fixed get this set up and then it's really just a lot of getting things ready for later on this winter um, i got a ford 303 for my truck sitting here that uh, my second gear in my truck started whining like crazy and it's leaking oil like crazy too so i think i'm going to prep this trans get this ready just to drop it in first and then basically just do a trans swap and then go through the other one rather than just try and reseal it because with the wine and the gear noise, I'm not really fond of that. And on the truck, I need something a little bit better. This trans ship bench shifts through all the gears just fine. Going to take the lid off, kind of verify everything, reseal it while it's on the bench, and go from there. But back to the carburetor. What you're going to need is a Phillips screwdriver. It's not at all that complicated. I'm going to start with the manual one. Disconnect all of these. So you got one, two, three bolts on this or three screws rather. So we yank these out first. Normally I don't mind the manual linkage, but I don't have any cables routed or anything for the manual linkage or a mount to put the actual choke. So for me, rather than drill another extra hole in the dash, not that I'm a purist at all, but for me, it makes more sense to run the electric one because then it's one less thing to deal with. And if Daddy ever wants to drive it, I don't have to explain how a choke works and figure all that out either. <laughs> and then the last one, you might have to move the choke flapper arm to get to that last one. Of all the times, I didn't just grab a drill. Well. Didn't really want to strip them out, but it's not hard to strip out these Phillips head fittings on these screws. And there you have it. There's our choke. Then we have this plate, which is actually hooked up. I put a piece of safety wire on here. I think the issue he was having on this, um, there was no detent on this to keep this rod from coming loose. This rod is what actually adjusts uh, the engages the flapper up top. So he didn't have a it should have one of those little snap clips in here. Um, essentially, the snap clip basically holds this linkage arm from falling out of the choke, which I'm fairly certain is the issue that he was running into. Now we have a choke list set up on here, and we will do the exact same, moving on to the 750, we will do the exact same thing, you got one, two, one, two, three screws again, but on this one they're actually behind the uh, plate, so I'm going to see if I can do this without pulling the choke, I might still have to um, pull the cover off on the choke too, we'll see here. Maybe I'll get lucky. I don't know if the head of the bolt is going to clear the plate. I can get lucky and wrestle that around once they're all loose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, and then the third one. Flathead here, pop that C clip. This is the clip that was missing on the old one, little hairpins. Very easy to lose. Come on, let go. All right, and there you have it. Here's the electronic choke assembly. Set this over on the rod. Rotate this up into place like so. Let's see if I can get one screw started. Two. And my last screw, I believe, stayed in, which it did. So we'll tighten this down onto here. Wouldn't be a bad idea for me to go through this carb first, but I trust the guy I got this from. He swore up and down that it ran great. He's also an active hater of Edelbrock's, so I'm assuming that's probably part of the reason why he wanted to just give me this. I asked him about it. He's got another Edelbrock he's going to give me too. He hates them so much he won't even run a brand new Edelbrock because... He doesn't like them, which is cool. I'll benefit. I don't really care either way. Um, I got the Summit 500 on the truck right now. I'm really happy with that carb. However, on the truck with the AFR heads and long tube headers, it's still a stock cam. Uh, I do think it runs out of steam a little bit up top with that 500. However, the low end, I picked up a ton of low end on the truck. Uh, and for a 5.0, that's substantial they like making power up in the revs and i don't really like revving things that high so now um with the choke hooked up and installed quick and easy i'm also going to put the mechanical choke linkage back on the old one just so i keep everything together and don't lose it in case i need to go back to a mechanical linkage at any point i also don't like taking parts off of carburetors and let them sit around for a while because so things get lost and that's not good so I don't have the choke rod hooked up to the back side of this linkage right now which is fine I just need all the parts together do this put the circlet back on so I don't lose that one and I'm not running this carb so I don't really need this completely assembled just want to make sure all the parts are on there There you have it, non-functioning choke linkage because I didn't hook it all up correctly, but that's okay. That'll work for now. That's going to be sitting there forever, so thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Eventually I'll have a video putting this thing back on the car, but we're not anywhere near that right now, so thanks for watching.